Hey Vikes, as you know, today is the first day of enrollment. In today's show, we have information on the new enrollment changes. And several teachers to learn more about it. And more information on this Friday's game theme. Hey Vikes, I'm Morgan. And I'm Aaron, and this is your Daily News. First off, we have, a new, we have a story about the information about next year's enrollment. Let's go check it out. Hey Vikes, as you know, today is the first day of enrollment, but this year there have been a few changes. I talked to the counselor and several teachers to learn more about it. Yeah, so we passed out all students, um, freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, and then the the eighth graders got their enrollment sheets last week, got their enrollment sheets today, and we had inf enrollment information meetings down in the um, auditorium for each grade to kind of just go over, you know, what their requirements are to take as a, in their particular this class, whether they're going to be a sophomore, junior, or senior. Then, then they'll have a week to kind of ponder what they want, talk to counselors, talk to their parents and everything. And then starting next week, um, February 13th, then the enrollment window will be open for them to go in and put in their choices. While enrollment is mostly the same as previous years, one big change is that AP classes will no longer be for college credit. We're splitting AP and um, Washburn dual credit because the AP board isn't at all affiliated with Washburn. So we have been branding a class that is dual credit through Washburn as advanced placement when it's really not. Um, to take AP and to get the AP credit all over the country, you have to take the AP exam at the end of the semester. But at our school, since we offer dual credit anyway, we hardly have any kids taking that test. Um, so the credit received is actually through Washburn, and it's not at all an AP credit. AP really, they come in and audit what you teach, and they really don't want their classes to be dual credit classes, because if you want college credit through AP, then you take the AP exam at the end, and then you can get college credit for that. AP classes will be standalone, more rich in content, um, take the AP test at the end. If you score a certain amount, it costs $94, you score a certain amount, then you can get college credit for $94, which is a pretty good deal if you're a pretty decent test taker. Some students are not particularly happy with this change. So when I first heard about AP and college classes being separated, I was a little skeptical at first because I kind of had my senior year planned out when I was a freshman. I will probably take um, freshman composition and lit just because I was gonna take AP but since that's not offering college credit I don't really see the point of doing it now. Be sure to enroll in your classes for next year. Now back to your anchors. Make sure to be enrolled by the 22nd. Now for the rest of your announcements. There are still slots available for the ACT power prep class on Friday February 15th. Stop by the front office to pick up a form. Juniors interested in the internship program must submit an application by March 1st. Look at your Schoology class page for more information. Shawnee County Parks and Rec is searching for high school students interested in a summer job. There will be a job fair on February 18th at the Topeka Workforce Center from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Drivers be aware that there will be increased traffic enforcement efforts around the Shawnee County area. The Topeka Youth Court is taking place next Thursday, February 21st. Check Schoology for more information. If you like to draw, plan to join other artists tomorrow night from 6 o'clock to 7.30 in, nine, in room 901. Battle of the Bands has been rescheduled for Monday, February 25th, but tickets go back on sale Thursday, February 21st. Forensics finished first this last weekend at Washington Rule Tournament. We had five students qualify for state. Great job, Vikes. That's all for your daily announcements. After the break, I will be back with sports. I will choose. I will choose. I will choose to respect my body. To rise above. To put myself first. 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 I will choose not to fall victim to this cruel trap. It's my body. It's, it's our body. body. I will choose. To keep my future in my own hands. And not in the hands of people who will harm it. 
I will choose to say no to nudes. I will choose to ignore. Delete. Block. Unfriend. unfriend. Report sexting. All these people in the room. I will choose to end this crisis. To not let last year's events repeat themselves. It's a simple feeling. You don't need to see all of me. To know. Love. Appreciate me. I'm trying to make you understand. To all the I will choose. I will choose. We, we will, will choose. choose. I will choose. To send love. 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 I will choose to send love, not nudes. I'm not gonna die tonight. All these people. Kiss big, hug the swine. Some of them are good friends of mine. I'm especially prone to those Poland China porkers. I'm more fun than a dog and smarter than a horse. And you might find them a little coarse, but shoot, they ain't near as rude as some New Yorkers. Last night was very eventful with sports. Both boys and girls varsity basketball teams won against Topeka West. There will be a wellness night February 21st at West Indianola from 6.30 to 8 o'clock. The theme for this Friday's home game is Pink Out. Here's Allie with more information. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Jesse Haas talking about the breast cancer awareness shirts that Stuco is selling. So what are they for? Um, they're just for breast cancer in general, just to raise awareness. Um, all proceeds go to my mom because she has stage 4 breast cancer right now. When are they selling them? Um, they're selling them during lunch and before the game on Friday. Awesome. Make sure and support and wear your shirts to the game on Friday. Now back to your anchors. Thank you, Allie. Be sure to buy, your, buy yourself a shirt. All boys interested in playing golf need to stop by Coach Blackman's room to sign up. If you're interested in track and field this spring and you're unable to make the meeting, join the Schoology track and field group. 10th through 12th grade girls interested in swim should attend the information meeting after school today at 3.15 in room 911. That's all we have for sports. Now let's head over, head over to Joshua to see how long it's going to stay warm. All right, good afternoon to you. I hope you enjoy the warmer weather today as we make it to 54 degrees. Same deal for tomorrow, except for temperatures going to be falling through the afternoon and evening hours. So if you have any evening plans for your Valentine's Day, bundle up. It's going to be getting quite a bit colder. And that's all setting the stage for a snow chance as we head into Friday. The latest data coming in is showing a lot of dry air associated with this system, which is going to limit the amount of snow we see in the morning, but by the afternoon I do expect we see some light to moderate snowfall across the area. It's going to be pretty quick moving, but still we're likely looking at accumulations with how cold it's going to be. We'll try to give you numbers by tomorrow, but if you're seeing any kind of numbers on your phone apps, no, these are not going to be reliable. Do not uh, pay attention to these, just ignore them. It is way too early to be start forecasting amounts at this point with this storm. So know what the weather channel is saying. What the weather channel is saying is probably not going to happen. Now, as we move into Saturday itself, the morning should be mostly dry, but returning chances for some light uh, snow or maybe even a little bit of a wintry mix return by the afternoon and evening hours. Still, it looks lighter than what we're dealing with on Friday. Well, we could be looking at some accumulations from that as well. And now for your SVTV 7-day forecast, you can see that we are looking at, again, that mild weather for the low to mid-50s. And then much colder weather, highs in the 20s every single day from Friday all the way through at least next Tuesday. Aaron Morgan, back to you. Thanks, Josh. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day.